The Berenstein Bears and the Sitter by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Mom and Dad are going out. Gramps and Gran are too. Who will stay home with the cubs? Just anyone won't do. What's this? said Papa Bear as he took the day's mail from the Bear family's mailbox. It was a notice telling them about an important meeting that night at the Bear Country Town Hall. Mama Bear called up Grizzly Gran. Brother and Sister Bear sometimes stayed with the Gramps and Gran when Mom and Papa Bear had to be away. But Gramps and Gran were planning to go to the meeting too, so Brother and Sister couldn't stay with them. Or with Aunt Maud. Or Cousin Wilbur. They were going to the meeting too. Why can't we go with you? asked Sister, beginning to get a little upset. Yeah, added Brother Bear. Because, said Papa, this meeting is for grown-ups. And besides, it won't be over until late, way past your bedtime. Well, where are we going to stay? The cubs wanted to know. You're going to stay right here, said Mama, as she put down the phone. Alone? asked sister. Of course not, said mama. I have arranged for a sitter. A sitter, said brother. Who is it going to be, sister asked. Mrs. Grizzle, who lives in the hollow stump at the end of the road, said mama, feeling much better about the whole thing. Mrs. Grizzle, said the cubs, not feeling better at all. Once, when Sister was playing with her friends, their ball went into Mrs. Grizzle's flower garden. Mrs. Grizzle wasn't too happy about it. And another time, when Brother was flying his kite, it swooped and bumped Mrs. Grizzle on the hat. She wasn't too tickled about that either. Later that evening, after the supper things had been cleaned up, Mom and Papa got ready to go to the town meeting. But who's going to scrub our backs, read us a story, and tuck us in? asked Sister, still a little nervous about the idea of a sitter. I understand that Mrs. Grizzle has raised seven cubs of her own, said Mama, putting on her hat, and I'm sure she's perfectly good back scrubber, story reader, and tucker in her. But she's not going to scrub my back, Brother Bear said under his breath. Mrs. Grizzle came walking up the path to the Bear's treehouse right on time. There was no question about it. It was the same Mrs. Grizzle who got bopped with the kite and didn't like cubs tromping her flowers. She was very large, almost as big as Papa, and she carried a drawstring bag. Evening all, said Mrs. Grizzle in a loud, jolly voice. Well, time's a waste in you two, she said to Mama and Papa. You better skedaddle off to your meeting. Mrs. Grizzle had a strong way of saying things, and folks usually did what she said. Mama and Papa kissed the cubs goodnight and skedaddled. Woo, said Mrs. Grizzle as she sat down in Papa's big chair. It sure is good to get a load off your feet. She took off her hat and looked into her drawstring bag. There's something about looking into a bag that makes cubs very curious. Mrs. Grizzle, said sister. Yes, what's in the bag? Nothing much, just some things I take along when I go sitting. A piece of string, a pack of cards. Meanwhile, over at the town hall, the bears were getting ready for their important meeting. 
They were getting ready for speeches, voting, and arguments about some new laws. But Mama's mind was not on the meeting, neither was Papa's. Mama and Papa Bear were thinking about what was going on back home. Sister looked a little worried when we left, fretted Mama. So did Brother, agreed Papa. They decided to call home and see how things were going. Things are going just fine, said Mrs. Grizzle. Brother and Sister can't come to the phone right now. They're busy playing cat's cradle. Have a good meeting, shouted the cubs. But they say to have a good meeting. After cat's cradle, they played go fish with the cards that came out of Mrs. Grizzle's drawstring bag. Then they played tiddlywinks with a special set of winks that Mrs. Grizzle had made out of polished stones and a snail shell cup. After a while, the cubs got the yawns, and Mrs. Grizzle began getting them ready for bed. And she did indeed turn out to be a very good back scrubber. Brother changed his mind about not having his back scrubbed. And she was a fine story reader and a really super tucker in her. Oh, I hope Mama and Papa had a good meeting, said Sister with a yawn, because we had a very good sit. The Cubs had a number of different sitters from time to time, but Mrs. Grizzle was their favorite, and they were always glad to see her. <laughs> <laughs>